Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 76 of Let's FIFA 13 and we start off by going into the final of the Gold Cup with our transfer squad and we come up against a 3-5-2 Brazilian side and I get my first chance here off a corner and I'll pick up the clearance here with Jesus Navas, try out a shot, pick up another corner and from that we get another bicycle kick in and we hit the post. Getting very, very close to getting that goal. And just a few minutes later, it is Ronaldo breaking through here with a shot from distance to make it 1-0. And I did dominate the first half, had most of the shots. And I will continue on into the second half here. Breaking through with Ronaldo and making it 2-0. Had a quite comfortable lead. But he will get a goal back here with a Pato and I thought, well, I will probably still hang on to the lead. But in the 90th minute, he gets a goal back. And I just thought, are we really going into extra time? Because I really felt I should have won the game. But into extra time, I will break through here with Jesus Navas and take the shot, hit the post, and it goes in to make it a 3-2. And we continue on into the second half of extra time. Ronaldo on the ball, and he will get his hat trick here, taking the shot on the edge of the box to make it 4-2. So I win the game there, win the final, and uh, as you can see, I had a, quite a few more shots than him. And after that, pretty much every single player in the squad, which were a transferred player, were out of contract. So I thought to myself, I might as well sell on the squad and build a new one for the for the bronze crown a tournament to see if I can uh, could win that. So I decided to go with a bit of a Korean defense. Haven't tried the, the bronze Korean players yet. So I thought I might as well try them out. And then I thought to myself, I also had to try out Lee Trundle in a bronze squad. I only think I used him in a like gold, uh, silver, bronze hybrid in the past, but never used him in a bronze tournament. So I thought to myself, I might as well try to get him into the squad. So. And we'll pick him up, we'll get Mourinho as a centre defensive mid, so they link nicely up together there. And uh, the squad here, you'll only be seeing one game with them in this episode, because basically the one game I played with them had so many highlights. I did play two games with them, but uh, it, the episode would just be way too long, and I decided just to save the ne next ep uh, next game for the next episode. But yeah, we also pick up Bentia and Gessel, and we'll get a Taylor and a Bradshaw as well for the squad. And uh, in the end, we'll pick up a few formation and position modifiers just to to get everyone on the full chemistry there and that will pretty much be the full squad so on goal we have Lee Bom Jung and uh, he's an amazing keeper his stats looks quite decent for a brunt keeper but he's very tall and he saved a lot of stuff in the games I've played so far with the squad. Then we have Yun Jung Sun as our first center back. Quite fast, got good strength. And I believe he's 185 at tall. So he's a quite good center back. And the other center back is Kim Dong Woo. Uh, Wu, uh, 74 pace, there is some faster Korean center backs, but he is uh, 189 tall and he got 80 strength I believe, so uh, that's the reason I uh, chose him over the faster Korean center backs, his strength and his height. On the right back we have a Kim Kwang Suk, 93 pace, so yeah, a really fast uh, defense we got here, and he got a medium medium work rate, which is quite uh, nice. And on the left back we have Jung Hong Yun, 83 pace, high defensive work rate, medium attacking work rate, so the work weights of the defense are quite good. They'll kind of stay back and then they're really, really pacey as well. Uh, center defensive mid, we do have Mussinho, 78 pace, and he got the long shot trade. And the games I've played so far with the squad, he scored so many goals, some quite nice ones as well. So, yeah, really, really a good player on the center defensive mid. On the right mid, we do have John Taylor, 91 pace, the four, stars, four star skills. And I've used him quite a bit in the past, as you know. And the same thing go for Gessel, 4-star skills, and uh, used him quite a bit. Center attack mid, we do have a lead Trundle. His stats looks terrible, but he does have the 5-star skills. And you'll see a little bit in the first game here, him doing a few skill moves. But especially in tomorrow's episode, you'll see him shine with some of the nice skill moves. And striker partnership, we have uh, Bentia and uh, Bradshaw, both uh, in the high 70s with pace. And they got a really, really good shot on them both. And Bench here with the finesse shot trade, which is not too bad. But before we play with the squad, we'll head on into the Gold Cup just to get the fitness up. And we come up against a quite original squad there. And this is the kind of opponents I fear coming up against because they are kind of the, the experienced foot players 
creating that kind of squats and uh, it was a game where I didn't create much in the first half and it was not b uh, before into the second half that I actually would break through and when you look to the halftime stats most of the shots w were from distance from both of us so no wonder the goal was shot from Miss Slatten uh, from outside the box there to make it 1-0 and into the second half I'll create a few more chances and I'll get the skill moves going towards the end of the game here we will be on the ball and look at this nice little heel shot from Menace unlucky not to get the goal could have been a quite a nice uh, skill goal there but we continue on here we will be on the ball and he'll finish it off with a finesse shot there to make it 2-0 and that is how the game ends and uh, yeah we both have quite a lot of shots from distance he couldn't really hit the target and in the end I win the game at 2-0 then I pick up a squad morale both for for the bronze squad and for the squad I built in yesterday's episode because I hadn't applied uh, squad morale whatsoever to any of those so yeah and then we head on into the bronze crown tournament and it was a really fun game to play with the bronze players here um, it's Lee Trundle finding Bent here he will go past the defender here take the shot and make it 1-0 so a very good start to the game Gessel will get on the ball here, use the body find uh, to go past two defenders, but will not get the goal. Unlucky there. Then Benz here back on the ball, and this is a quite nice skill run. He tries to get the shot in, but he will get it back onto the ball here. A little drag back, and he will go into a rainbow flick past the defender. Try the volley, but unlucky to hit the post there. And he tries to get the rebound, but the defender will block it. We pick the ball up with Gessel here, and he will keep on going with the skill moves past two defenders. But a weak foot finesse shot is not working out. So we go into the second half of extra time. Benz here on the ball once again. And yeah, he's an extremely good bronze player despite not having that much pace. He just got some really good traits on him. And uh, he seems to be like everywhere on the pitch. But Musinho ping the ball up here. And with that long shot trait, he will convert it on the edge of the box. And then a Bradshaw on the ball. making his way into the box here. Little rainbow flick. And we try out the shot. But it's straight on the key. And he will escape. Save it. 74th minute. Benz here bring through a rainbow flick past the keeper. I tried to flick it back over for a bicycle kick, but uh, his keeper will get on the ball there. And then a trundle going with a few skill moves, trying out this shot, but saved by the keeper. Mustinho trying out a long shot, and from the corner, we will actually find him once again. A little bicycle kick from him to make it 3-0 and that is how the game ends and how this episode will end. I hope you did enjoy it, we'll probably be back Tuesday with another Let's FIFA 13 episode because tomorrow I'll try uh, to have the Ultimate Team Career Mode video out and I'll also have some FIFA 14 Ultimate Team news out so look forward to that and that's uh, pretty much all for this video. I hope you did enjoy it and uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. <laughs>